All right, guys. What I got here in box, this is an old school. It's a Spectrum Union Pacific Dash 840 CW. I'm going to use this as an example since it's got pretty good handrails. Let's find out how long the stanchions should be. So I got my handy machinist rule here that goes, I like it because it goes in hundredths of an inch. And that means I can, it's a decimal. So I'm just going to line it up to the handrail here, pull the handrail up to it, and I'm going to let's take my my pick here. Let's pull it up to a handrail, measure it. Okay, I don't know, you probably can't see those numbers on there, but here's what it reads out. It is .55 inches. That's just a little more than an inch and a half. And we could measure that in millimeters. Let's just check it out in millimeters, because as you know, um, 3.5 millimeters is one foot in HO scale. Let's just see what. Uh, let's just check out how, how many how many scale feet is this? I don't even know. So what we've got here is roughly 1.123. All right, so. 7 millimeters is 2 feet, 14 millimeters is 4 feet, this is a little less than 4 feet. If I, my math is correct, this is, it's, it's just a little more than 3 feet and not quite 4 feet. So that makes about, that makes about the right sense for how, how high a handrail should be. So that's how high our handrails are going to be, but like I said before, we aren't going to measure that. The only thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we cut off pieces of this wire that I think we want to have. Let's take our, our ruler here quick. And I want to say that we want to have about one-tenth of an inch for the, for the foot. And then, so that means we're looking at, we said, we, we said 0.55 was how high it's going to be so we're going to need to cut off 0.65 for the foot that's cutting it pretty close we're going to cut off three quarters of an inch that'll give us plenty of room for soldering we're going to cut off three quarter inch lengths of this wire and we're going to make a whole bunch of them for our stanchions that's how we're going to do that hey guys i am now going to reveal one of the truly great secrets. This is, this is an army secret. I don't know if it's a secret in trains, but in army it's a secret. All right. So when you go to, to army schools higher up, uh, you use these kinds of pens right here. And you buy them in the PX, but you can find them at like Hobby Lobby and stuff. They're called Stetler Permanents. What they are are alcohol pens. You can write on glass with them. You can write on whiteboards and stuff and they don't erase unless you use rubbing alcohol or you can use like acetone or something else but rubbing alcohol generally we use these to write on map boards and stuff and but what you also can do and this is an F which is my favorite now I said these wires needed to be 0.75 so I'm gonna line them up here I'm gonna use my steel ruler and I got here to check check this out this other steel ruler I got right here has inches on one side and it has millimeters on the other side um, and it I got a pair of them on eBay I think it was like two dollars and I, I, I like these steel rulers a lot they're pretty handy I don't like to do stuff where you have to make tons of measurements and we don't have to do that I said 0.55 so 0.55 is how high they're ultimately going to be and a foot of another point one that's point six five and I want a little extra room so I'm gonna make them point seven five so I'm gonna put a mark oh look at that it writes right on the brass then I'm gonna move that mark down move it down here and let's make another one let's do a point seven five that's two move our ruler keep our brass that's three. I don't even know how many we need. Maybe we better check. All right, so we need eight. 
for sure, the front and rear. We need two more Nymex 10, one for each of the front sides, and then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need 18 plus 10. We need 28 of these. So far, we have marked off one, two, three. All right, let me mark all these up. I'm thinking I might use two pieces of wire on this, so we'll find out. All right, guys, check it out here. One of these pieces of wire, one of these pieces of wire here ended up being 16 stanchions. So that was pretty good. Um, so we're going to cut this other one here. We only need to make 12 more. We'll have a little bit of extra wire left over, possibly enough for the front handrails right here. And that'd be pretty good. And that leaves us in the package two long ones left over I think that'll be enough if we run out though we might bust out some piano wire just to make this super cheap but soldering piano wire can get to be kinda tricky because it really heats up we'll see what we can do but I want to keep this down to the price of under two dollars alright we got 28 stanchions that took us a grand total of somewhere around two to three minutes to make those. Huge investment in time. But all right, let's see what we got now. Let's, we don't need the cutter. We don't need the drill now. Good on the rulers. Let's go ahead. Let's take needle nose pliers yellow. And let's go ahead and bend. Now I said about .1. So let's let's measure first. We're try, I'm trying to do this without a lot of measuring, but let's just check it out just to make sure. Needle nose point point number one in the first slot right here is. Oh, imagine that. It's point one inches, one one hundred. Let's see if that'll focus in on that guy. Maybe not, but anyways, the tip of this is exactly what I wanted. I said I wanted point 0.1 so let's go ahead and take it take a stanchion put it in the tip here and let's just give it a 90 degree bend there we go now we're gonna take that guy and we're gonna put him on here we ain't gluing anybody in or nothing because when we're when we got it soldered we're gonna paint it okay fits in there just like that see that check that out all right so now I basically I gotta bend them all and I think I'm gonna go ahead bend them all and install them one side at a time and we're gonna bend the long rail we'll see what we end up with that alright guys we've got all the stanchions bent here with the tip of the pliers now let me say again about the pliers it didn't matter that the pliers matched the 0.1 inches that I wanted to use and that, it didn't make it. I was going to use these pliers anyways, whatever it bent to, because they just look about right. So I wouldn't worry too much. I kind of want them a little deep. So I drilled the holes through, and as you can see, if I take one, let's get my tweezers here. Let's see, I'll pick up one. All right. Now, if I put this on here, just like that you can see okay now the holes are just a little bit big so these will probably fall down I'm not gonna leave them on just like that they fall down and that's what happens we're not gonna really worry about that till we get to soldering the only thing we need to do now we can take this long wire right here and we're gonna start you can see it's way longer than the locomotive we're gonna start bending it and what we wanted again was about 0.55 inches up and so we're gonna have to this is this is the only part where it gets really tricky on measuring but it's not that bad so we're gonna we need to bend this guy from the hole that's already here now there's a hole right there that's where the stanchion gets bent so we're gonna put our little bend in the end put a little bend in the end here little 90 degree bend there you see that 
uh, just like that okay and then we're not going to get too fancy on this end handrail here it's going to go it's going to fit in there all right then let me just hold it here I'm going to take remember my special pen my Stetler my Stetler F and the blue I think the blue is easier to see than the black so oops let's just go ahead hold it in place if we can take the old ruler here from the deck that 0.55 looks pretty high to me right there I think I'm actually gonna scale that back well you know what let's let's check I don't know let's find out let's take a look on the big screen here at a B23-7 alright now if you can see that it looks to me I don't know if we can get a better side view or not let's see if we got a side view let's look in our pile here let's find a side view well here let's what do we got here for this oh that's a little picture let's not use that one let's find something big how about this there we go alright now it looks like on the screen here, handrails should come up right around these middle hinges. And do I have some middle hinges? Yes, I do. I have some middle hinges here. Just a couple of them. We're going to go that high. So it's going to come right across here. Let's see how that works out. So let's go on back down here. And let's find out. Let's take our wire again. And it looks like those middle hinges, we get a ruler here. Let's just lay this baby in here. It comes across, well, it comes across almost in the middle of this grill. So let's see how, how big that is. Oh man, yeah, that's 0.55. So that's what we're that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna bend at 0.55. So let's get it on here. And let's go ahead and make a mark. My hands aren't that very steady, but I'm just as we're using the mark one eyeball, like I said, see if I get a mark on there. Come on, baby, give me a mark. God darn, did we get one? Let's check her out here and see if we got one. Dude, yes, we did. We got a mark. Let's make that mark a little bit better. I see the mark down here. You can see this. Right there. Let's mark that baby up. Mark it on its side so I can see it. That's where we're going to make our bend. All right, now. So what we're going to do now, let's take out the Lyman pliers. Now, Lyman pliers, I like this because it makes nice big bends. So let's get her in here right on the end, right where we're going to make the bend. Okay. And let's see if we can't make just turn this guy just a little bit so that we kind of want this at a right angle until I got it I think that's pretty good right there so then let's just go ahead and bend that guy down 90 let's we'll see if we can't make him line up and you know what I just bent it the wrong way let's bend it let's go ahead and take our lineman pliers unbend it which we can do we don't want to do this too many times, we'll break it. Okay, I messed that up. I'm supposed to go this way. So let's do it again. Let's get that guy in there. Hopefully I didn't weaken it too much. And if I didn't... I want to bend that guy towards me, don't I? Let's give him a bend. All right. How does it get, get going to look on here? Is it going to be good? Okay, we got her in there. 
Well, I, know, I don't know. It looks kind of high to me, but on the screen, we saw that that's where it goes. Let's just put a stanchion in and, and see if it matches. Let's put a stanchion down here in the middle and see if we are close. If we are not, we are going to unbend it. Put it back to the way. See if we can't make it match up here. There's a stanchion. Nope, we are... I'd say we are too high, so we're going to have to unbend this guy. Alright, so let me unbend and I'll get it bent the right way. And we'll, then we'll see where we're at. Alright, using our Mark 1 eyeball. All I did was I backed off. I didn't really measure it. I just backed it off. Tipped my pliers again. Backed off, rebent it. Now let's check it again. Now it's looking pretty good. That is not terrible right there. We lined up kind of on that stanchion I placed there in the middle. And it looks like it's going to be good to go. Then we'll just need to bend this section right here so that it, it, it goes up and into the hole at the cab. So that ain't bad. Let's go on to the next bend. Alright, taking my Stetler here and... What I did, you can see, I just made a mark roughly between these two. All right, what I did was this between these two stanchions, right here and right here, we need to go up, and we need to go up about this pliers, about as much as this plier right here. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go up and we're going to go over. So I put the mark on here. Let's make the bend and find out. We're going to take this, rip it in our first notch here. Let's just line it up a little bit. I tell you what, this brass wire is extremely forgiving. I don't even know how I could stand working with when I used to do this with piano wire, which is really stiff. The only advantage to doing piano wire back in the old days was, was you could get Atherin Blue Box stanchions and use those. And But they don't make those anymore, so now you got to make your own stanchions. Or you can buy stanchions, but they're not cheap. So let's make our bend up. Maybe at a little angle. Just like that. And then we're going to do about one plier length over. Maybe we'll put on a second notch here. And then we're going to bend it lined up here and let's bend it again kind of 90 degrees see what we got so we're gonna have something like that if you can see that okay now let's try that on the cab all right so let's lay it on here put it in its hole okay now I got it lined up with the hole on the cab so let's get over here and take a look at that Let's see if you guys can see that a little bit better. Let's get a better shot here. All right. Now, see how I got it lined up there on the cab? This handrail, to me, looks like it's going to be okay. We're going to test it. I got a stanchion here. It needs a little extra, little extra bend in it. Okay. So then I'm going to put that stanchion here. Check it out. Yep. See, I want to be above... For when I do the soldering, I want to be above. I think we're going to lay the wire on the outside of it, solder it from the inside. That's the way we're going to go. And that lines up with the hole on the cab. And now I can cut. And I'm just going to take, I'm going to use this Zeron cutter. If you don't have one of these, they're kind of expensive, but they are well worth it. Let's make sure we are not stretching the last, the, the post on the other end of the locomotive. Get it lined up with the hole, and then let's just give it a Mark I eyeball and give it a cut right about here, I would say. Might stick into the cab window just a little bit, but that's all right. There it is. All right, we got rail number one. Apparently is going to be ready to go, so let's put that on. And let's put it in the hole here. Oh man, there it is. 
There's rail number one. Okay. We're making some progress.